In this video, we're going to be looking into how we can learn this language called Punjabi uh, using this app uh, Learn Punjabi uh, by Common Tech. So I'm going to open. So I already installed the application, uh, and I'm going to run it. And we're going to be running this application for the first time uh, on this emulator, which is running on a Linux machine. Things are going to be a little bit slow compared to the real phone. So when you open it for the first time, you're going to be asked for uh, about your native language. There are a lot of choices here. You're going to be selecting your native language and say done. Okay, at any point in time, you can go to the settings and you can change uh, your preference of the native language over here. Okay, so on the dashboard or the main screen of the app, you have been given a lot of stat uh, status indicators. Now, uh, the white one means like either you haven't started that module or the section, uh, or you haven't completed any of the quiz or the study mode. The light green means that uh, either you have completed the study or the quiz mode, and I will go into the, these different modes uh, in a minute. And the dark green means that you have you are done with the uh, with that module or section, and you can reset all these uh, in the settings. So let's talk about different modes uh, before I forget. I do want to mention that this ch uh, app has a lot of chapters, and every chapter has a lot of modules that you can go through. So we're gonna look. So every module or any every section is gonna look similar to this one, where you're gonna have your chapter num name at the top, your section number over here, and then some progress bars showing the progress, like how many uh, how many flashcards you have completed. So the app is created in a flashcard uh, in a flashcard. Uh, like it's it's basically the whole app has a lot of flashcards and all these uh, that's how we try to learn the language so every section has four modes the study mode has bunch of flashcards you can bookmark a flashcard and that particular flashcard is gonna end up going to the second section which is the bookmark flash uh, study mode uh, you can uh, click on the audio button to hear the content of the flashcard both in your native language and uh, in, in, in Punjabi okay and then uh, let's go back so that's the second mode the third mode is the and the quiz uh, so you can actually all the quizzes are in the form of multiple choice questions so you can uh, answer uh, the flashcards and uh, at the end you can submit that and it is gonna be it's gonna show you that your score uh, and would point out uh, which of the uh, which of the questions you did wrong so you can actually look to the answers right away again you do have uh, like a, there's a feature that you can actually bookmark uh, a question in the quiz and that question is going to end up in this bookmarked quiz mode so that's the fourth mode we have the last thing I wanted to cover is that there is also another functionality where uh, this rounds uh, green button uh, when you click on it you can actually create your own custom flashcard so you can create a chapter uh, you can put a description in it uh, you can <clears throat> write down the question, the answer, uh, different options and create it. You can also attach the images to that flashcard and this explains how you can do that. Uh, once you create it, it is automatically going to create a chapter for you. It is going to create um, a flashcard for you and it would create quizzes for you too. Uh, thanks for watching.